Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. And 15 PCA. Need to 454. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at C15podcast. So on uh, X-Men news, we got to replace Wolverine. We have to. Yeah. We have to Fantastic. find a new actor. Yes. Hugh Jackman hung up the claws. He's been Wolverine for over half my life. So he's allowed to give it up. Yeah. And that's it's fine. About, it's about, yeah. So who, who do we get to replace him? And... You know, everyone's kind of shooting around some ideas, and it looks like Scott Eastwood, the son of Clint Eastwood, Eastwood. he's just like a super handsome dude. Like, it's what's up with Marvel heroes and just getting these incredibly handsome Handsome guys? guys, Yeah, you get Chris Hainsworth, you get um, it's just it's just just insane. But you look at this guy, and someone drew a picture. This is come from ComicBook.com. They do like a mock up of what he would look like in Young Wolverine, and hot diggity damn, I like it. Yeah, it, it looks, looks amazing. It yeah. looks great. And if you look, if you look at that picture. That could be a comic book cover, mm-hmm. of like a young Wolverine. Oh, he's so great. And this is uh, Scott Eastwood himself has recently stated he had interest in being Wolverine. So if he likes Wolverine, wants to be Wolverine, and he knows the character, you can't get any better. Mm-hmm. And we gotta make the transition. Yeah, guys. We gotta make it's the transition gotta happen. I mean, eventually Wolverine's gotta come back. It's ridiculous. See, it says fans are split. This is from comicbook.com. Fans are split on the idea. No way. He looks great. I know he's super crazy handsome, and then people like that, oh, he's, he looks like David Beckham, but it's not a wrong thing that he looks good. I yeah. mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be hard to find uh, someone that looks exactly like Hugh Jackman or something to play. That's the thing. And yeah. I'm looking, they said people saying Luke Evans. Mm. Mm, no. no. Mm, he's too, I don't want to say goofy, but he just doesn't, he doesn't do it for uh, me. No. No. Mm. no. After seeing that mock-up picture... Of uh, Eastwood, I'm like, yeah, yeah. he kind of, he's got it. To me, he looks like a villain. Yeah. yeah. This guy, this guy right here, sorry, like, he, he would uh, like... Luke Evans. Oddly, oddly enough, Luke Evans, he might do a good saber tooth than than besides... Do you want to do the backside, the other, like, do, do them both? Yeah. So, that looks like, um, because we got to start doing some new X-Men movies now. Hopefully, with the Marvel, Fox thing, everything goes through, we can start X-Men, because the... New Mutants, all these are still like uh, Dark Phoenix in the 90s, right? Mm-hmm. I have no idea when New Mutants takes place. But we got to start building a cohesive universe. And we got to start building that new X team. So we have the actors from, you know, First Class and all that. And now we're starting to get in Phoenix, Cyclops, and Gene. They're young enough to be the characters going forward. Mm-hmm. We need a new young Wolverine. We, yeah. got, we just got to do it. And Wolverine, yeah, he has to be part of the X-Men. That's just that's just his thing. And again, again, like you said, uh, this eventually will probably happen. I would say no later than 2020 we're going to start yeah. seeing these movies. Because, I mean, it's going to happen. I think this merger is going to be okay, and then it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, Dark Phoenix, November 2nd, and New Mutants, February 22nd, 2019. Yeah, I know. So things are getting pushed back and moved around. But um, if just from this picture, it, ha- it kind of has me sold. It really does. Because he's a super fit dude, so you got the muscles, you got everything, he likes the character. Hey, yep. get him in a costume, get him to act, get him to do some action stuff. If he does well, I would not I would not be amiss if uh, Mr. Eastwood here got yeah, the he, if he can pull, if he really has the desire and has the will to be like, hey, I like this character, I want to be this and, character. And how cool would it be a chance we might get a cameo from Clint Eastwood? How cool would that be? Yeah, I, know, <laughs> I love Clint Eastwood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That'd be great. But it's just so great. It's just insane that... And I would love this version too. Like I know the uh, the female Wolverine. I she's X twenty three. Yeah, she could still be part of it too. You could have a two team. Yeah. I wouldn't mind that. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I say too. And in the comics, there's Laura has a sister and she's Honey Badger. Uh, and yeah. she's stupid. Uh, uh, whatever. She's like a psycho. Like she's crazy. Like she likes killing people and stuff. It's really dumb. Yeah, let's get away from that. Let's yeah. not have her in the story. Yeah. Let's just have if X twenty three is in the story, whatever. Do universe bending. Whatever they got to do. If they got to put her in there. But I love this. This uh, idea we got to recast everybody. Mm-hmm. They already kind of did it with the younger people, and now we can to do it with Wolverine. Yeah, people have a connection to Wolverine. They just do. Of course. And it's just one of those Keystone characters. It's just like man, Hugh Jackman just nailed it. Mm-hmm. But you can't put Hugh Jackman in a freezer and keep him the same age. Keep pulling him out. Yeah. So Logan was a swan song. It's over. Let him disappear into the. The sunset. only time we're gonna see him do Logan, uh, Wolverine again, uh, Hugh Jackman, is if he's doing the voice of him. In the yeah. Show. That's it, guys. You're not gonna <laughs> get anything else. Yeah. But uh, definitely looking forward to uh, seeing if they're going to make an announcement about officially someone's going to be Wolverine. Come on. This would be great. And then how funny is it that it actually is like a big conference thing to actually announce that, oh, yeah. yes. You can have a press conference just announcing who's going to play Wolverine. Wolverine. That's how huge Wolverine is. And not even oh, a movie man. or saying like, oh, from moving forward, this is who's going to be How big would that be, man? That'd be huge mm-hmm. news. Man, that's going to be cool. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I need to see him like in a... See, okay... 
Should this new Wolverine be in costume Wolverine? Do we want the brown and yellow, the yellow, the, or should he be undershirt, jeans, big old Texas belt buckle, and a cowboy hat? Which Wolverine? At first, until he joins the team, and then when he joins the team, maybe he does wear the yellow finally. Now I want to see the cool. she, again. I want to see the mask. Just even one scene, give me the mask. We saw it at the end of Logan in that special feature thing. I just want to see the yellow mask in one little mission, just one time. Exactly. Come on, just That'd give it to be me. So cool. It's gonna, that should be so cool. Because, again, you could do a whole X-20 thing Wolverine storyline. Like I'd be together. fine with that. That'd be yeah, really cool. How cool? I just said when they fought together in Logan, when he was old he was old school Wolverine again, and they yeah. fought, and the way they like fought Like, he had together. all that uh, booster? Yeah. yeah. And she was jumping off his back. That was so awesome. Like, that was cool. There's something about having giant knives in your hand that's just cool. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And, and it's up in your face fighting. You have guys who can shoot laser beams and like that. This is... I'm... And I'm trying to, he killed so many people. Oh, yeah. In that movie. And, and the, the best part is, too, is like he, you can hit Wolverine. They'll just keep coming. You just keep coming. You can't. I, I stop there's him. a quote from Wolverine, and he goes, He's one of the few people that's ever been punched by the Incredible Hulk and lived. And he's like, When he hits you, it's like your soul leaves your body. <laughs> he's like, And then when you finally come to, you just realize you're fighting a living earthquake. He goes, His hits hit you so hard. Everything goes away. <laughs> There's a difference yeah. between surviving uh, Incredible Hulk's punches and actually beating him. Okay, there's a big difference. Okay. <laughs> and by the way, could you see him play versus fight a movie versus the Hulk? Oh, yeah. So. I, I I have gushed about that Wolverine Hulk fight in the woods during the snow. I, I want to see that fight. Damn it! I wanted Hugh Jackman do it, but since I looked at this, he could do it. I'd be oh, fine man. with it if he I, did it. Somehow it would have to be just a, a two-hour uh, long movie. I don't know how they would no, do give, it. No, give give me just even ten minutes of that. I'd be in heaven. Oh god! Just just a, just no, I don't want no setup, no nothing. Boom. Who brings in the woods? And the Incredible Hulk's looking around for him, and he jumps out of the trees, and bam, the fight is on, and it does not stop, stop. for a half an hour, and it just yes. goes on. Yes, I thought I the funniest time they fought, it was, of course, animated, but it was a movie in the X-Men where, like, you know, they finally calmed down Bruce Banner, yeah, and then, like, you made me go through all this to find him, right? And, 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 and Shield. You, you, yeah, Shield. Was Nick Fury? Was it yeah, Nick Fury, too, yeah. and I'm that, you got, you know, that really ticked me off that you used me like that just to get... Hulk, you didn't tell me how strong it was. So he ends up pushing Bruce Banner to get mad again. He goes, ah, you gotta deal with it. And no, then Hulk just knocks him in the air and he goes, fly. <laughs> yeah, just to get out of there. Get out of there. He goes, ah, now you gotta deal with him now. <laughs> that was funny. It's just one of those cool fights because you just have this little claw monster ball of fury and this big giant monster mm-hmm. of a guy. It's just a cool fight. It's one oh, of the yeah. classic versus battles. Is just Oh, yeah. I thought the fight with Thor and Hulk was amazing in Ragnarok. Like, he still didn't beat Hulk, though. No, no, he, he didn't. didn't. Yeah. He hurt him, but he didn't beat him. And that would just be intensified with Wolverine. Yeah. Though. Because there's so much claws and everything. Anger. So much anger in the air. That puny, be... puny man. Or, uh, you're stronger than Hulk. Yeah. I just, oh, my God. I want it so bad. <laughs> I want it so oh, bad. Oh, yeah. We all do. Hopefully, I think we are going to get it. And, uh, and I'm Things. Whoever they pick, as long as it's someone who loves the character and express interest in in doing it, so just get someone who and they can come because it, it's a big thing. Yep, it's not some little thing. You didn't know Hugh Jackman knew nothing about Wolverine when he first took the role, but he came to learn to love and care about Wolverine. And he's a loner, but he's also a good person. He's a good man. Yeah. He has a heart, even though a lot of people die around him all the time. But he always has to do the right thing. Yeah. He tries to walk away, but he does the right thing. As long as those things stay. True to his character, this should be cool. Regardless of whoever they pick. I, yeah, but I'm just hoping it's this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He looks cool. Yeah, he's what he should do a good job. Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, sub, and share. Also, for the most up-to-date information about the podcast, follow us on Twitter at C15Podcast. 